This is what I go garage selling for. This is what I do it. I do this to find this. Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, or I'm a stay-at-home dad and a part-time eBay reseller. And every 1Hub subscribers is a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. Very close to that next giveaway. So go ahead and if you're not subscribed, do it. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't even have to watch the video. It'll just help somebody who does watch the video get entered into a uh, giveaway. I have 11 ores going out today. So for a midweek, that's great. I think sales are turning around. And how I think that's happening is I've adjusted how I've been uh, doing my listings a little bit. Normally, I would always shoot for any day I could list, which was, you know, here or there. Who, kn who knew when those days would be? I would try to get a minimum of 10 listings up. That was always my, my benchmark. But now that it is free to schedule your drafts to drop, I've changed to, I reduced it to five listings a day, seven days a week, which is around about what I was getting out anyways because things were very hit or miss. And that number will go up because, so I, I'm getting five out and then any additional I put into a bank that I schedule for the next day or the next day, so on and so forth. And if that bank grows large enough, you know, 30 listings, then I'll increase that to six listings a day. And I'm going to continue that process until it gets up to 10 listings a day again, scheduled every day, seven days a week. And I always have been very against doing drafts not only because it used to cost you money to schedule them, and I I didn't want to like have to bank them and then go and do it later and remember to drop them later. I was always a proponent for it can't sell if it's not listed. So just list it. Just make the listing and get it out there. But sales were bad. I mean, everybody knows that. So I was like, okay, I've heard this works. Let me try it. Is that the reason this is working? I don't know. Is it just because I have new stuff coming in? It's garage sale season. Who knows? It's a mix of old. It's a mix of new. Again, eBay doesn't tell us. They they couldn't just be like, hey, make sure you get this many listings out a day. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do this. And all these things will help the algorithm. And because, you know, somebody would try to game the system, whatever. I Whatever the reasoning is for just not telling us. I don't know. I try not to care about it because <laughs> we don't get that information. But it seems to be working. So if that's something you haven't tried and sales are still not good for you right now, maybe give it a shot. Do it for a week. See if it works. Nothing changes. Go back to the way you were doing it. It's always worth testing for at least a week is a good, a good enough test to decide if you want to continue. But a month to three months is really where you get to know if something's actually working. But I'm going to continue doing it, like I said, and then I'm just going to scale it up as I go. And now that they're free to schedule... It's so simple. Even as I'm scheduling them, I schedule one at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That way I know that I have the five. If I get 1 a.m. through 5 a.m., I have my five for the next day. And then I can go that ne the day after that, 1 a.m., and I know I have my five or how many you want to do. Because I'm not, I'm not waiting until, you know, middle of the next day. As soon as it's the next day, those listings are going out. I do have one TCG player order going out right here. This was a, I waffled back and forth. Because the order value was over $40, like 40 and some change. And after fees, which f fees are no joke on TCG Player. I know they're comparable to, to eBay, but they, I don't know, for some reason because they show them to you right, right in your face. It's like, ugh. So the money I'm making on that is before cost of goods. It was around $32 after cost of goods because I probably paid... I, I probably paid up for those. You know, it's probably a 20 plus dollar order, something like that. But I was considering because the order value, the purchase value was over $40. I considered going first class, but I had to remind myself, if I do that this one time, now I have to do it that forever because I've decided that that's what I do, but that's not what I do. What I do is I try to send things as cheap as possible and for the small percentage that things don't work out, because that's the truth of it. They stick in your mind when things go bad, returns, damaged packages, but it's a very small percentage. So if I just stick to always 
shipping it as cheap as possible, putting a stamp on it. If there is an issue with this one, it disappears. They claim they never get it, whatever. I'm still in the long run going to make out better than paying four plus bucks a pop to send it first class. The savings I'll get on all the additional ones will make up for the few that there ends up being an issue on. That's been my plan for a while. Sometimes I have to talk myself back into it like I did today, but I'm glad I did. Speaking of talking myself into it and out of it and all that kind of stuff, I have said for a while now, I'm out on glass, I'm out on breakables, I'm out on difficult to pack, all that kind of stuff. And my bias towards that cost me hundreds of dollars. No joke, cost me hundreds of dollars and i'll get to that later you know i gotta tease it a little bit so let's go ahead and pull some orders and then i'll get to that it is this surprise right here in this box which i'll give you a little hint if you're a fan of pyrex stick around to see it first thing going out it's a book uh it is eight trixie belden books i'll do it in two trips i got these this summer at a garage sale i paid I think 25 cents a piece for them. And one of them I had either here or already listed. I think I had it listed and I pulled it out and added to the lot. For that lot, I got $35.99 free shipping. So what, 25 cents? One, two, three, four, eight. Oh, I, pfft. geez, Drew, just do the math. It says $2 into $35.99 free shipping. It'll cost, yes, the six is ish bucks so that's still great money great turnaround only took a month ish to sell next up is a lot of winnie the pooh vhs and i did say these were on my list for the other day they got bumped to my list for today and it is this lot right here this is also going to take me a couple trips but this is one of the vhs lots that i will pile up and really not just specifically Winnie the Pooh, just any Disney VHS series, kids series VHS in general. If you make big enough lots and you get them cheap enough, anywhere between free and 25 cents, as soon as you start paying above that, it's not worth it. And I have a second lot too. Um, I did do two separate lots. This one's with the clamshells, but these ones I think are actual movies and these are just episodes. But I did go through and lower the price on some of my VHS because I needed to make room for two lots that I need to list. For that lot right there, $20.69 free shipping. So it's not a ton of money. I'm a bargain shopper. I'm a value investor, that kind of thing. I'm more apt to protect my downside than reach out for upside. If I lived closer to like an auction house, that would be completely different. Then I would be trying to specifically target high end stuff. You know, you pay a hundred to get 300, you know, that kind of area where you're you're getting a higher return, but you are shelling out more money, but you could also source it on a regular basis. But because I don't live close to an auction house, I have to pay shipping. If you can if you live by an auction house, that is a fantastic place to source. But if you don't and then you have to pay the shipping on top of it, you have to get such a good deal that it's unlikely you'll ever get a good enough deal to make up for that shipping cost. So then it's a waste of time. So I, I tried for, I don't know, a few months. I kept popping in, checking, 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 but nothing was ever even remotely close to affordable or worth paying up for because shipping. And then next up it is, there's actually 12 items going out today. Three of those items are in the same order. Two of them got grouped together in the same order. eBay is, has not figured that out completely yet where, you know, multiple things will come in from the same buyer, but they don't, they'll only group up some of them. I don't know. It's weird. I will be shipping them all together. But if you offer, if you use best offer, Watch out for this. I will explain after I grab them. It is, they're in two spots. So B3F is do all ring set drill bits. Center bits, I think is what they, someone also told me. Someone in the cop, not someone in the comments, but like a potential buyer reached out and said, hey, these are also called this. B3F, here we go. B3F, pay attention, Drew. And these were a very much shot in the dark that has worked out <laughs> really well. And then the other two are B3D 15 and 16. 
So that is over here, 15 and 16. These two right here. And these are machinist bits. And I got that box of them, the two additional, and another box for, I think, $2. I took pretty significant offers on all of them, but that's because they still will end up first class and I get to combine shipping. So when you combine shipping, you save money, therefore make more money. So for the box, $40 free shipping. And then for each of the bits, $5 free shipping. I had the individual ones listed $10 uh, each. I had the box listed, I think like $69.99 because it was none listed. Sold comps were really non-existent, but there were some individual sold. So I just took the, you know, $10 for this one, multiplied it by how many were there. So I knew I wasn't gonna get that full price, but you never want to undersell if you are one of few listed or there's not a lot to go with because you can never ask for more money. But the thing you want to be careful of is this buyer, they also were, I think, aware of the concept that I'm going to combine the shipping here because they sent me offers on all three. They sent me like a $3 offer on each of those, like a $20 offer on this. And I almost didn't take the offer on any of it, but I, I was like, okay, you paid very little. We're still in taking profits mode. Let's go ahead and do that because a dollar for all that into $50 free shipping, that's good. <laughs> I'm taking that. But what you need to be careful of is they sent me the $3 offer, a $3 offer. Actually, let's just stick with the money they ended up paying. A $5, $5. And I think they sent me a $30 offer eventually on this one. Now, say I went through and accepted all three. Because I'm like, okay, I'm going to combine shipping, whatever, not a big deal. There have been no correspondence between us at all. So what they could do, and this hasn't happened, I'm just saying it's something to be aware of, hasn't happened to me. Say I accept all those offers, because I'm assuming I'm combining shipping and I'm gonna make a little extra money and it makes up a little bit of difference. I can give a better discount, but say I accept all those offers and then they just pay for the one and not the other two. Now I've given a, an extended discount on an item that I didn't want to, and then I don't get the benefit of combining that with the other items. That is a risk. You would wanna mitigate that by communicating with the buyer. I didn't. I didn't care that much. I honestly just didn't care that much. That was just something, it was something that was in my mind. I said, if somebody really wanted to dupe you, that's something you could do. You could make best offers on multiple items that are pretty low. I'm gonna assume, okay, I'm combining shipping. I can give them a little better deal. And then they could just either pay for the one, ask to cancel the others. At that point, you would have to do it. Or they could pay for the one and just not pay for the others and let them just go go until eBay relists it. Like I said, that's never happened to me, but it was something that was rattling around my head of, okay, if they really wanted to, they could burn me or even the reverse, the really cheap one. Say they had offered me 50 on the big box and $3 on the other two. And I was like, okay, I'll just combine them all together. Good deal. And I accept them all. And then they just only pay for the cheap ones. Burn you that way. So again, didn't happen, hasn't happened but a thought I had. Has that happened to any of you out there? Have you ever had an issue with a combined order best offer shenanigans? Yeah, the more I think about it, such a great flip. Because the other one, other box sold for around $50, $40, $50. So that's $2 into, you know, after shipping and fees and all that kind of stuff, like 80 bucks, 70, 80 bucks. That's, that's great. Next up, A3 is a lot of George Brett cards right over here. And I used to, for those of you that don't know, I used to play uh, live music. I'm a musician. I used to play gigs with a band. I used to do a lot of solo gigs. And at this one location where I used to play basically every, every Sunday during like the lunch dinner crowd, there was a woman that frequented there that was obsessed, here he is, obsessed with George Brett. And how I know that is because she would talk about him incessantly. I would be playing music and the entire time, cause it's like a chill, you know, family luncheon, acoustic stuff. But you know, when people are, you can, they're, they get loud. So I could hear from across the bar and she would go every week. I would hear her talk about George Brett who had been retired for 20 years or something. But it was just, just, she 
really liked him. I'm sure she had some type of shrine in her house of George Brett. Great player, $13.99, free shipping. That's actually pretty good for one of my card lots. So George Brett, you get enough of his cards, boom, that one might actually be worth it. I always say, don't do that, waste of time. You got enough George Brett, $13.99 free shipping is for a first class shipper. That's good. Next up, B3H is McDonald's Happy Meal Toys. I don't remember which ones, but I think it's the only ones in here. I think it's the dinosaurs from the movie Dinosaur. Yeah, it's a lot of two. And I actually just sold the other lot a couple weeks ago. So I don't know if there's a resurgence of the movie Dinosaur. Maybe it got recently released on a streaming platform or something, but it, it's Disney, so it's been on there forever. $8.99 free shipping. At some point, my friend Jordan that I sometimes get Pokemon cards from, I also at, at one point got a laundry basket full of McDonald's and other Happy Meal type toys, Dairy Queen, Burger King, that kind of thing. And they went fairly well. I listed too many that were super cheap, like this, $8.99 for the two of them. I should just cherry pick the good ones, made a one big lot of the rest of them. But actually, a lot of them, what I did, anything left, I'm probably going to pull out. I made like a treasure chest for, for the kids. Um, when we do family night, any of the kids that don't get a Happy Meal, or if it's a, a week we don't get McDonald's, get pizza or something, they get to pick a toy. That worked out pretty good. The oldest got sick of it because, you know, there's still little chintzy toys and she was starting to get older and was like, eh, I don't really care. I should replenish it with things she would like. I don't know what that is. Preteens don't like anything. She got a cell phone, so that's all she likes now. Cell phone, that's it. Next up, it is a Charizard V. All right, it's this one right here. Charizard V uh, Sword and Shield promo card. 850 plus eBay standard envelope. I, You can see I put a one right there because I had two of the same card, so I put it in this uh, card saver one, and you know, so I could tell the difference. There's not much difference between them, but for a card buyer, they want the card in the picture. Because if they're going to grade it or something, they, they're they looking at it. They're trying to figure out, okay, what kind of grade am I going to get? For a while, this card, when it first came out, this card was going for crazy money. I never understand those collectors. The ones that pay crazy prices that it will never reach again until decades later. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, sometimes there's the rare time where it just keeps going up and up and up forever. Uh, there's a Umbreon card, Moonbreon, if you know Pokemon. But most other cards, they have a huge spike because people want it now, or they're speculative. And then there's always a drop-off because more and more get opened. More and more and more. I think that card at one point was $50 plus, And now $8.50 plus shipping. Which, I'm happy with the $8.50 plus shipping because I think I paid 50 cents for it. Next up, D3 is a Wilson A2, blah, 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 blah. D3, it is this one. I just listed this the other day. I got this and, oh, what was it? Oh, I got that and that, if you can see it, that block of VHS tapes for $3 because my dad picked them up and he said, hey, I got these for $3. You want them? I said, well, I'm not paying you more than $3 because the VHS is, is not worth much at all. And he said, yeah, that's fine. He's like, I was just picking up for you anyways. Sometimes he does that. He's just out. He's a garage sailor. He always has been. He's a buyer. He wants to buy stuff. He likes to buy. So sometimes he doesn't care if, I, if he makes no money. Sometimes he's like, okay. I paid three, give me six, a double up for him, and I'll still make a bunch of money on the back end. Stuff like that. There's always a little bit of a, not so much a negotiation. There's usually a, I do want to have it and sell it, or there's, I have no interest in that at all. And that's usually what it turns to, well, just give me the $3. And that's what happened there. $20.99 free shipping for the glove. Gloves, a lot of the time, I used to, I would, I always do free shipping on gloves because worst case scenario, I put them in a padded flat rate envelope, but with the USPS price reductions, padded flat rate envelopes have not been used for almost anything. And if it's not like a weight plate or a rock, I haven't had to use them at all. Um, just regular USPS has been cheaper. And then next up it is, I mentioned last video, this book set, uh, Reader's Digest, popular book series. I paid for all of those 
and then a bunch of other books. I want to say $14. I paid 50 cents a book for those. So what do we got? 14 of them. So I paid $7 for those. There we go. That's better. Seven Paid $7, got accept, accepted an offer, $65 free shipping. That will, of course, go medium mail. If I had to guess, I'm going to say somewhere between $12 and $15 to ship that. So it's not a, even though it's $65, you know, you do all the fees, promoted listing, cost of goods, shipping, all that. It's not a ton of profits, but I bought it this summer, listed only a few weeks, sold, love it. And I almost, I had a buyer that was really trying to get them. They kept sending me offers, but they wouldn't go above $50. And I, I'm glad I never took it. I ended up doing the math. I did, I was like, okay, fees, how much I pay, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, that I would make like $10. That's not worth my time. So I'm glad I didn't because $65 free shipping. Next up, B3F is a women's honeybee, which it doesn't have to be a woman's, but that's what's in the title. Brooch. Where are you at? Gold or silver? I think it was a gold one. Ooh. Do I have any gold ones? I hope it's a silver one. All right, well, that's a bummer. I only have the silver tone ones left. It looks like they purchased the gold tone one, but it also says they're a repeat buyer. So I will reach out to them, see if they'd rather, if they are okay with me sending them the, that'd be the best case scenario, silver tone one. If not, I'll have to cancel the order. But repeat buyer, may, may, maybe they're willing to work with me. Who knows? Maybe they've already bought one of these and they just really liked it and wanted another one. Actually, I am 99% sure that's a viewer. So I will, I probably won't get negative feedback, but I still will feel very bad. Um, I will have to reach out to her and, and see what she wants to do. And that was a viewer sale. Diane, thank you so much. Thank you for understanding uh, the mix up. I assume someone got a gold one that ordered a silver one at some point, but they didn't complain. So yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess sometimes life works out, but because you are a viewer, I will also throw in a sticker. Let's go with the fancy one, the shiny, shiny tip of the mint flip sticker right there. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Viewer sales are of course not required, but when they come in, I do very much appreciate them. And then last thing going out is a vintage wiffle ball bat on A6. It is a generation three wiffle ball bat, which I'm just gonna leave them there for now because I'll have to sort through them, figure out which one it is. But I got $17.99 free shipping. And my intention is to take either one of these tubes and add, cause it's, it's not long enough, add one of these, or I will use enough of these to make a tube long enough to cover the bat. Other option is I would just take a, something like this, long length of, which this might actually be the better option uh, as far as weight, take a long length of cardboard and make it into a triangle that fits around it and it will that will give it a ton of rigidity on each side. Actually, that's probably the better option. These tubes are awesome, but that's pretty heavy and it's it needs to be first class, but I'm not sure on length on that. I don't know, a couple of them were not worth listing. The generation three was $17.99 free shipping is okay. It's not great, but the generation one and then the like antique vintage, which these are vintage anyways, but the, like the, the wooden, you know, it's not wiffle ball bats, but it's, you know, street ball bats. Some of them have a ton of value to them. Uh, there's like this one right here, like plastic bats sometimes are shockingly, shockingly valuable. Uh, this right here, this powerhouse pro model, 19880. I wanna say $30 free shipping which it hasn't had any action. So I may need to lower the price or recheck that one, but don't pass on the wiffle ball bats, but also do not group together all wiffle ball bats. They are not created equal. They still make them. You can go buy them right now. There's specific websites dedicated to the different generations. It's very helpful, very informative. I don't have the exact website. You can find it. Internet it works. But yeah, don't sleep on wiffle ball bats. Some of them worth a ton of money. Some of them, give them to your kids. That one's $17.99 free shipping. Like I said, yeah, would I buy it again? Maybe. But do check out the website, put in your memory banks, what is the difference? 
because on a lot of them, it's just the different script. There's not like a date on it. It's just the, the script of Wiffle is different or some of them are really similar and just there's like a little tiny variance. But either way, it's a good thing to know about because they are something that you will come across. All right, so now it's story time. Like I said, I let my biases, biases interfere with making hundreds of dollars. I mean, that's 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 what it comes down to. I lost out on hundreds of dollars. I was at a sale. The sale was at a storage unit and there was no tables. They were just trying to clear out the storage unit. I think they needed stuff gone, but it was an estate worth, worth of stuff, but it was raining and not raining a little bit. It was raining. So I didn't have my camera, of course. And so, and it's nothing's out, nothing's organized. So I'm, I'm having to pick through boxes and if I look at a box and it's raining and in that box is paper, ephemera, anything like that, I'm skipping to the next box. Because once it's got water on it, I don't care if it can dry out. It's done. It's what It's been wet. You know, new in package boxes. I always hate that, you know, garage sales, the dew from the night before, you know, there'll be stuff out. And it, once it's gotten wet and it starts to warp and stuff, it's over for me. I'm not, I'm passing. So I'm going through stuff and this box right here, I still scored really good. I'm not mad about what I got. These right here, these are all vintage linens, new in package. I think I looked this one up around $40 plus ship, maybe even more, but I got the whole box for five bucks and I got 14. Even if I got $10 plus ship each, I'm making a bunch of money. Like I said, the first one I looked up was around $40. So this could be a huge score right here. Also at that sale, I got this uh, set of Tupperware fruit bowls with lids. I think I paid a dollar for the whole stack, maybe $2 for the whole stack. These fruit bowls, I've never seen. And they are in the pastels, which the pastels is as good as it gets. And then um, also I grabbed this Tommy Bahama glasses case. It has glasses in it. They are not Tommy Bahama. I grabbed it for the case. They didn't charge me for it. They said, nah, just throw that in. Prices were good. But like I said, I saw wetness. I was getting rained on. So anything with paper in it, or I would peel back a little bit of paper. And then I would say, oh, okay, this is dishes, pass, moving along pass. My dad shows up later that day, says, Hey, come check out what I got at that sale. I said, okay. Yeah. I didn't really look that good. I, you know, it was raining. I didn't want, and I, I saw a bunch of glassware. So I just moved along. So he shows me and just telling the story again, makes me sick. And as soon as he opens the back end of his vehicle, I wanted to throw up my stomach dropped because he had no idea what he had. He said, he's worth anything. And what he had was the grail of Pyrex. As far as Pyrex that was printed for the somewhat masses, the pink butter print is the tops. And these are in minty fresh condition, hand washed, maybe not used. It only had one lid, ordered a second lid that cost about 15 bucks. But I, I wanted to throw up because I knew what he had. The only ones that are worth more than the pink butter print are like the special runs, stuff that went to um, special events. Uh, there's a Christmas one that has like pine trees on it. That's super high, very rare. Never seen it in, in the wild. I've never seen this one in the wild. This is the pinnacle. I will put some sold comps up here. I might've already been doing it. I just, I couldn't believe it. It, it was, it just would have, it was, he paid, I think a couple bucks, two, two bucks, three bucks, something like that. I think he just bought a whole box of, like looked into and saw a whole box of dishes. Maybe he saw corning on one of them and just bought the whole box and they happened to be in there. It could have even been that. I don't really remember. Cause I kind of blacked out. Cause I was like, I was at that sale. This is what I go garage selling for. This is what I do it. I do this to find this. The rest of the stuff I sell, this stuff is to get me to the sale where I find that. That's what you're looking for. The dream, you turn a couple bucks into hundreds of dollars. And like I said, I would put the sold comps up there. We're gonna list it high. And I say I'm out a couple hundred of hundreds of dollars because I gotta give my dad a cut. He said, you know, give me a fair cut, but we're gonna list it high. And so I'm going to still make money. That's, that's, I'm, I don't wanna like make this some, oh, poor Drew story. I'm still gonna make a bunch of money on it but I would have made hundreds of dollars extra if I didn't have to split it with somebody. I was, I couldn't, it took me days to get over it. I'm obviously I'm still not over it. Just 
just crushed. And that's why, before I get to the, the current listed and what I'm going to list it for, I knew, I know, this is something I have knowledge on, but my bias towards not wanting to ship glassware anymore has led me to throwing away all this knowledge I've built up on glassware, where if I would have seen this, I would have known immediately that I had scored huge. So since then, I, I mentioned this is another one, I've been buying garbage glassware because like this ashtray that I bought for some stupid reason they didn't worth anything. This Pyrex bowl, which is okay, not great. And a few other things that I'm not even listing. They're just going right back in my garage sale. I bought them in bulk lot, so it's still a wash. Actually, I'll probably still make money at a dollar in my garage sale. But I, I let I let my bias towards not wanting to ship glass anymore lose me this money. I don't know if there's a lesson in that for anybody out there. Maybe it's just a lesson to me. The problem, like I said, now is I've flipped and I'm buying glass where I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. But let's get to, you know, what, what I'm going to sell them for, what I'm going to go for. Currently, this is a three-part set, and the third one is the bigger one, the 473. This is the 72 and the 71. If you the three set, the only one currently listed is listed for fifteen hundred dollars plus shipping. That's excessive, but when people want something, they want something. And it's rare. Actually, when I looked it up a few days ago, three of these listings didn't exist. So there was there's eleven, not lots but 11 of this print listings available total and there was only like eight or nine the other day when i looked it up the 472 this one there are two live auctions one with a day with two days left on it 207 dollars plus shipping it's got three bids 207 plus shipping there's another one the 472 it has eight hours left nine nine eight uh, nine hours 18 minutes left i will attempt to remember to see what that went for and put that in this video. I will make a note of that and hopefully remember to read the note. 13 bids and that's up to $202 plus shipping. The 471, there are no current listings. Zero. So the only way to get this one, this 471, is to buy the $1,500 lot. Is anybody going to do that? I don't know. There's 54 watchers on it, so there's people interested. And if you wanted to buy them individually, you can't because, let's see, is there even... Yeah, when those two auctions end, there will be no 472s left. So as of tomorrow evening, there will be none of this available to buy, none of this available to buy, unless you want to pay $1,500. And then just to get the 473, uh, the cheapest one is $450. I mean, that is... I'm getting winded and dizzy just talking about these numbers. What we're going to go for, I think, and not go for like, oh yeah, we're going to get that money, is the current three-piece set, $1,500. I'm going to subtract basically what it would cost for the 473 to buy individually to match price with that other listing. Why wouldn't I match price with it? It's a rare item. It's a high-end rare item. So I think just to make it a nice round number, I, th I think $1,449.95 is that one. If they wanted to buy the individual 473 to go with these, it's going to cost them $450 plus ship. So if I go $999 plus shipping, that matches price. <laughs> thousand dollars that's that's hard to talk about <laughs> so i don't know it, what's the lesson in there i usually i'm pretty good at coming up with with the lesson tip of the day something like that i don't know i guess i just needed a kick in the teeth i i, I don't know i guess the silver lining is that i still make some money on this i'll probably make a good amount of money on this but $999.99 plus ship is what we'll list it for. I mean, I don't think we'll get it, but I'd be shocked if it's if we take less than $750. Couple bucks into a grand. <laughs> well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, 
go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. This really neat. Hey, do they do they ever you know, really fix things? I have no idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.